There is one location for Freestyle Library Center that nobody talks about. It is for sure the most unique and the most craziest spot that I tested so far. I'm gonna share with you my experience in today's video and we're starting right now. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom, I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. If you watched my previous videos, you know that I've been testing alternative sites where you can place your freestyle Libre sensors. A few weeks ago I saw this girl on Instagram shooting the sensor in her forearm. She's done it many times and it seemed to work for her, so I was like, hmm, should I try this too? I was a bit worried at the beginning, but after some initial hesitation I decided to punch fear in the face and I really went one step further in this video to try out this new site and I got out of my comfort zone because this site was really something I was a little bit concerned it wouldn't work. So if there are some other spots that you either like or you're afraid to try, please write them in the comments below and I will try to test them in the next episodes and share the results with you on this channel. But now let's talk about the forearm placement. To be honest I was not exactly sure where to place the sensor because I didn't want to do it on the outside of the forearm where the sensor could get easily ripped out because it's quite exposed on the on the outside of the forearm on the other hand on the inside there is a there is a lot of veins coming down the forearm and i was worried that if i hit one of these veins this would cause bleeding and would not be comfortable so I was really picking the spot very carefully this time because this spot, this location does not have too many spots where you can actually put the sensor on. After I shaved my arm to get rid of the excessive hair, I placed the sensor in my front forearm about 2 inches below the spot where the arm bends or the 2 inches below the elbow but on the other side of the arm. The forearm placement is very easy but it took me a while to actually shoot it there for some reason I was a bit scared to do it at the beginning. Still the application didn't hurt at all and it was super easy. So for placement I would give forearm 7 out of 10. By the way this video series has been a great success so far and really brought the community together. Many of you have been sharing your experience with various sensor spots in the comment section below which I'm really thankful for and I'm really happy that you do that. Please keep doing that and share your experience with the other members of the community. Now let's talk about accuracy. Unfortunately there have been no study done over the forearm placement but I will share my personal results that I've seen throughout my testing and how the readings compared to glucometer. My readings from the forearm were very accurate I didn't have any notable differences between the forearm readings and my glucometer readings. The only thing that bothered me a little bit was uh, one or two compression lows that I saw at night when I actually slept on the sensor when it was placed in the forearm. When I compared the accuracy of the readings from the forearm with other sites, I would give forearm 7 out of 10 points. Now let's talk about how comfortable the forearm site was. Because right after the application I realized I made a big mistake. I actually placed the sensor in my dominant arm and very close to the forearm muscle. And because I'm right handed I really use this muscle a lot and anytime I picked something up or carried something in my hand my forearm was in pain. The arm became almost numb for the first two days and I really had to try hard and avoid doing pretty much everything with my arm just to keep the sensor on. But after two days my forearm seemed to have adjusted so starting day three and on I did not really feel this pain anymore and uh, my arm somehow adjusted to the sensor being placed there. But if I was using the forearm again I would definitely pick a different spot and I would pick a spot on my left arm which is not a dominant arm and I would put a spot a little bit further away from the uh, forearm muscle uh, so I wouldn't put it in this area I would probably go for for area somewhere somewhere here in this uh, in this place scanning the sensor placed on the forearm is very easy the place is easily reachable but one thing to be aware of is that the site is extremely exposed to other people's stairs. Uh, anytime you wear a short sleeve the sensor gains a lot of attention and you will hear a lot of questions and comments from your colleagues, 
friends and even strangers. By the way, let me know in the comments below if you receive a lot of questions or comments on your Libre from strangers. I would be curious to hear what was the funniest question you got so far. Please write in the comments below. Speaking of comfort, there is one more thing I want to mention about the forearm placement because my sensor became very scratchy, very itchy starting week two and it was very difficult not to scratch it because the sensor was in my sight all the time and I just had to scratch it, I couldn't help myself. When the sensor is placed somewhere else you don't really see it and uh, I feel like it's not as itchy as on the forearm. And so mainly for that reason and the initial pain I give forearm only 3 out of 10 points for comfort. Now let's talk about durability. Did the sensor last for the full two weeks on my forearm? Unfortunately not, because I couldn't stand the itching anymore and I took the sensor off after 10 days. And because it was really sunny during those 10 days, my sensor left a nice white mark on my forearm. Classic. Otherwise the forearm side was quite secure, I didn't hit anything with the sensor, I just had to pay a little bit more attention while taking the t-shirt on or taking the t-shirt off. And that's why I would give forearm 6 out of 10 points for durability. The forearm received 23 points, which compared to the other locations is the lowest score so far. But I still see some people might love the way how it stands out and how it gives very reliable readings. If you are someone who wants to show off your sensor, this site is definitely worth trying because it gains a lot of attention from both diabetics and non-diabetics. Guys, when choosing your sensor site, always keep in mind your personal preference, your body fat levels and your lifestyle. Keep in mind I'm not a medical professional and the only recommended site for the sensor placement by Abbott is the back of your upper arm. Check out the playlist on the screen now to learn about sites that I liked better than the forearm. I make a lot of videos with practical tips and hacks for the Freestyle Libre, so consider subscribing and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!